My name is Ian Lachlan and I write and direct the Belgrade Panto each year. I also play Dame in the show. Now, if you're watching this, you might be thinking of coming to one of our popular pantomimes. Or on the other hand, you might never have seen a panto before and you're asking, what is a panto and why all the fuss? Well, let me tell you about what to expect. Panto is an important part of UK theatre history, dating back to the days of classical theatre. In fact, it came over from the continent during the Renaissance as Commedia dell'arte. And of course, we made it our own. But much of the tradition we have in Panto today is actually from the Victorian era. Now, what can you expect from Panto now? Well, there's a heroine, uh, the principal girl, who is strong and kind. Sometimes she's a princess, but not always. There's also a hero character, and tradition states that he is played by a young woman. Hmm, she's the principal boy. I, I hope you're keeping up. Now, this young hero is brave and good at heart. He helps the heroine, often falls in love with her, and they get married at the end of the story. Now, the comic characters are also very important in the panto. There's always a dame, uh, that's the character I play, and she is played by a man in a frock. <laughs> in fact, the dame has lots of outrageous dresses. She's very funny and gets involved in silly routines with the comic. Now, both of them always cause a bit of chaos through the show. And the comic is usually played by a young male who is prone to getting muddled up and saying stupid things. Although he's always getting into trouble and being told off by the dame, he's very friendly and very lovable. He also helps the story characters on their journey and is our link to the children and the audience. Now, in Panto, good and bad are very important. As you look at the stage from the auditorium, the right-hand side of the stage is always the bad side, and the left-hand side of the stage is always the good side. The baddie can be male or female, and the two baddest baddies of all are Abenaza in Aladdin, and Carabos, the evil fairy in Sleeping Beauty. Now, often there is a good fairy who uses her magic powers to help the heroes defeat the baddie. But the most important thing of all to know about Panto is that the audience get involved. <laughs> yes. So if you come to see our Panto, you'll be able to cheer the hero and the good fairy and boo the baddie. Sing along, clap and shout and, and shout out, it's behind you in the ghost scene. You can also disagree with some of the characters and shout out, oh, no, it isn't, and oh, yes, you did. <laughs> now, as our panto at the Belgrade is a traditional panto, we often have a UV scene. Well, that stands for ultraviolet. It's a special kind of light where we can make huge glow-in-the-dark creatures appear. We also have a very silly slapstick scene in which the dame and the comic <laughs> and sometimes the dad from the audience, get covered in slosh. Now, our panto always ends with a song sheet when everyone sings along. The comic and the dame sometimes have a chat with some of the children from the audience on stage. And, of course, we always have a magical, glittering walk down. There's nothing like a panto for fun, magic, a great story and spectacle. So why not come and see us at the Belgrade Theatre here in Coventry? You'll have a brilliant evening. Oh yes, you will.